My name is uh, Douglas Dyer, and this is my wife. Marcy Dyer. Uh, my life before Christ was uh, empty. I was continually getting into trouble, getting into trouble, getting into trouble. So my life was actually just spiraling out of control. And the, the enemy had me so blind until I didn't even understand that I was out of control. I was so blinded by the enemy that I couldn't see that I was, that I was going in that direction. So what, ha what happened was I ended up getting sent away. And when I got sent away, that's when the Lord had time to sit, when I had time to sit down and listen. And when I sat down and listened, then I understood that I was, this is not the life for me. And he was trying to explain this to me the whole time, that this is not your life. I have a life planned for you. And I have a different plan for you. So in that, in that stretch of my life, I started to um, realize that that wasn't for me. That lifestyle was not for me. That life was not for me. That I was one of God's and I should have uh, realized that sooner. I wish I had realized that sooner. But it took for me to be sent away before I, I realized that. I grew up in church. You know, my father's a preacher, my mother's a missionary, uh, my uncle's a bishop, my brother's a preacher. My whole family basically is in the it's ministry. ministry. So, you know, while I was out doing my thing, they were praying for me. Mm -hmm. So I know that God answers prayers because if they had not been praying for me, I might not be here right now talking to you. Mm -hmm. So keep praying. Keep praying for those that are out there. Plain and simple, it's the gospel. It's the gospel that changes lives. It's simple. the gospel that, that will change my life, your life, her life, and any other person's life that come in this church. It's the gospel that changes their lives. And if I could tell anyone any message about uh, Crossroads, it would be the gospel is being preached. And if you want to be delivered, if you want to be changed, if you want to overcome the situations of your life, it's the gospel that will do it and come to crossroads and listen to the gospel.